Good evening. Welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Production Line. I'm currently doing some research here on... I did all of the unlocks for most of the features, except for performance. We're going to wait for our super high performance car, because we're going to need most of these unlocked already. So I'm currently looking at what I want my mid sort of car to be. So we've got the cheapo that is basically going to have no power steering, no cruise control. And again, if you didn't catch a uh, previous episode, I talked about the car models. So I uh, recommend going to look and watch those. Watch that episode. It was one of the very first ones. Was, I think it was the second episode. That I talk about which cars I want to build. So the basic car is going to have just your basic stuff. I do, I think, I think they need a heater. I think all cars basically need a heater. Um, so my basic model will have a heater. Um, and let's see, it's going to have some in-car music. <clears throat> um, but that unless there is uh, it'll have a spare and let's see it won't have an airbag none of that those are fancy super fancy so my basic model will have just a couple features a heater and music those are the two that those the basic model will have the mid model will have a few more other fancy features, and that is that. Is that. Um, you notice a little change with the system here. Um, I ran the setup from the last episode and ran out of money. And the second, and I didn't have it saved for a while, and the second it hit zero, game was over. It didn't even give me an option to come in and sell anything. It just... Oh, you're done. Sorry. Out the door you go. So I basically had to load an older save, rebuild these lines, knowing that I wasn't going to have enough money. Um, and obviously you can see, since we didn't um, finish the engine setups, uh, these are it backed all the way up through my paint system here. Um, and the paint system itself is set up to handle all the lines. Um, unfortunately, I need to keep the lines separated um, in order for their accessory packages to be consistent. Otherwise, we'll get 50 different models of car. You know, we've got one right now. Now imagine this just absolutely full with just ever so slightly uh, different uh, options. And I, I really want to avoid I want to avoid that um, because I want to make sure that I follow what sells and what doesn't. Uh, so we're going to need to separate the painting scheme. I've already basically turned off the production line uh, and we're going to do the car stereo now because I want to get that in car music. Um, I turned this off because we need to, we need to start customizing. Um, and like I said, the third line won't really take effect until we have pretty much every one of those features researched. So I want to get the more fancy model uh, made, the mid, the mid, I don't know what you'd call it. I don't, I don't really, uh, I don't have the memorization of how cars mid, mid size. So I need to actually change all of this up oh uh, can I do a demolish oh I can't do area okay so I'm just gonna do it by hand so yeah this was all backed up because engines are our bottleneck right now uh, take that one out I'm gonna take those two out I'm just right clicking by the way to get rid of stuff not too hard Okay, <clears throat> so imagine there's another line coming down here, and um, we want to leave enough space for that. So here's the conveyor, 
the conveyor will come down one, two, three, space, one, two, three, so right there. So that's where this that's where the next line is gonna come down through. So we wanna leave enough space for paint and all that stuff for this other line. So we're gonna bring this all the way to the top and then over. Do the same with this one, over. Do the same with this one, over. So now all of them are separated. They're all individual. And now we want paint. Paint is a pain. So let's go to paint. So one undercoat is fine for each one of these lines because we're, we're going to shoot for about an 18 second pass on all of these. So that is fine. We're going to do, we're going to run an 18 second pass. So seven seconds to paint the undercoat is plenty for these. Um, and oh, research project done. So let's look at, I need to start doing manufacturing too. Um, but I want to get some of those mid, mid ranged cars features ready to go. So what else do we want the mid range car to have? Uh, keyless entry. I don't know what central locking is. I, if somebody can tell me in the comments what central locking is, uh, that would be great because I have no idea what the difference between central locking is and like keyless entry or something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, well, I think we'll give them uh, also air conditioning. I want to get air conditioning research because that unlocks its own building that we're going to need. Um, so electric windows, that's definitely going to be one that I want. Uh, and now we're going to pause it because we're just going to bleed money. Uh, no, we, we can't. We got we to gotta keep that. This has to finish before we can completely redo all of this. So this fit engine, that's gone. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so this is on the last car. We just need to spit that out. And I also want... After everything settles down here, I would like... So is this just about done? It's doing the steering wheel now, it looks like. Good, it's done. Once it all settles down, I can... I can stop the stop the bleed. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna take that one out. Cause I don't if if something is sitting on the line and I get rid of it, I don't really want it to bark at me. And I don't want the game to crash either. That would be that would be sad times. Okay, so paint. Let's get paint going. Um I want first two dries to every paint. So if I do a paint here for this inner line, I want to dry here and here. So the paint will have to go, I mean, I can, I can really do it anywhere there. And the paint finish lined up with that. And then the dry finish for here and here because we can knock we can actually knock this dry down a ways um, there are three levels of faster drying each giving you a 10 percent uh, so we can knock this down by about 30 percent um, so two of these uh 30 percent of 24 would be seven no eight um ish so yeah, eight ish. Uh, so down to 16. Uh, I could actually put three of them on there, but we're going for about an 18. So we're shooting for an 18. So there's faster turbo max power drying. So each one of these you can add, but it, it takes, it consumes more power and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so we've got air conditioning, uh, heater, air conditioner units are actually really expensive and you can't manufacture them yourself, unfortunately. Okay, electric windows, definitely. I love my power windows. 
Okay, so conveyor goes in. This one goes this way. This one goes this way. Uh, this one comes in. This one comes in. This one goes out. This one goes out. There we go. So there is um, this line like that. Now we're going to do engines. So I actually don't want, I want to leave that open to, to discussion there. I want to leave that open. I'm not sure how much engines are going to take, but I know they're going to be, it's going to be pretty heavy. So this outside line is actually the, the close one here. So this whole line coming through and around, um, I'll designate, blah, 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 designate this one to be the basic crappy, not upgraded car. So I need to figure out where uh, those uh, options are um, that I want to add to that. So the basic car is not going to have power steering. It's not going to have cruise control, not going to have air conditioning. It's going to have a heater. So that's a seat. That's an accessory. And it's also going to have music, which is electronics. That is fine. So none of these need to be changed. They're all going to be default for the basic car, uh, which uh, keeps it fast and cheap. Uh, now for engines. This is where we're going to get a little tricky. Oh, I need to pause that so I'm not bleeding money anymore. Um, also, uh, fit accessories can go. So all of these can now be gone. Okay. So I want to want to move all of my power. Because... Uh, the, all that area up there is going to be used, you know, this whole this whole side is going to be used for other things. So I don't want to mess that up. So we're going to put the power over here. Uh, yeah, let's get enough power to run on. All right, so uh, we are paused right now. So let's see, fit engine. This is a pretty lengthy process here. So fit engine assembly. Uh, so if you look at this, five employees, zero employees, two, one. So we're going to save on two employees here. Uh, and valves is really, really what catches you. So this line is going to be um, one here I don't want to I want to leave myself a little breathing room uh, so this is going to be flywheel starter motor valves and then the radiator I think is just a radiator and exhaust is just an exhaust uh, wheels however need to be split out so wheel tires brakes and then steering column steering wheel okay so that is that all the entire thing encompasses everything in engine from from beginning to end um, and now we want to look at accessories and again I want heaters which I think everything is in fit accessories so this one, we actually have the ability to export right here. I could actually export if I am smart about it here. Oh, we've got uh, fit lights, horn, seats, windscreen. No, not air conditioner. We're not going to fit that. But then electronics, quality, and export. That's a lot of stuff to fit right in here I could wrap it around though that that's that would save me time that would save me space with the next line coming down through here um, you know the next one I could actually export over here because exporting itself is 10 seconds so it's well within our 18 second target 
uh, as our electronics. So if I do an export here and then a quality check here and electronics, those are all going the right way, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, so the lights, lights, horn, seats, windscreen, and that's it. So that goes around like that. So that is the basic, that is the basic vehicle right there. That is good for that. That is, that is pretty nice how that worked out. Now the resource import is the other nightmare here. So resource importer up, up here, this is going to be, um, I'm going to, I'm going to close that out, take that out, make sure that's green when it goes in because it was red when I put it in last time. Uh, now the conveyors, this is going to cover all of the paint. So if I want to take this out, I'm going to bring it down here and over to there. So this is all paint. And because I'm going to need three different sets of these, which is why I wanted uh, a resource importer dedicated to paint. Uh, and now I've got a resource importer that I could, uh, I guess I'm going to have to use this one. Um, so I'm going to cover all of those. And then I need one on the outside here. So I'm going to cover all of those. Okay, that's not that's not what I wanted to do at all. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Again, I'm holding shift to just take out the conveyors. Okay, now these can all come down like this. And I've got one more here, but this is where it gets tricky because engines are going to consume a lot of resources, especially the valves. The valves is where you really want a huge stockpile. So we will hook this one up. Let's get this all connected still. Uh, and I want to want a stockpile. I'm going to rotate it. I could actually put more than one in here, but let's. Uh, I'm going to put it right here, and we're going to add. We're going to add valves, at least 16 of them. It's eight per car. Oh no! There we go. 16 valves. Um, starter motor, flywheel, those are fine, those are one each. Exhaust, wheels, wheels and tires. We're going to add four brakes, uh, tire here, we're going to add four of those. We're going to add four wheels. Everything else, I think that's maxed out. No, it's not. Okay, we've got uh, we've got a few more that we can add. Um, brakes, I've got those. Steering column, steering wheel, lights. Let's do lights because we need four of those. Okay, I think we have four left. Okay, and lights, horn, seats, windscreen. I don't think there's anything else that we need too many of. So I think the rest of these, uh, I'll just make valves. That way everything can come in and because the stockpile is before the importer, this should get priority on delivery. So it should be able to spit items out right from there. Okay, I think I think the line for the basic stuff is done. 
Uh, let's, uh, let's see. Put, uh... God, I hate... I'm gonna do that, that, and that. Okay, I think that's good. And we are covered with everything. This little, this little guy here is gonna be really busy. All right, that is the line. We're gonna need three, we're gonna need two more sets of these. And I also want to add some, add some welders to this. Cause if we look, extra robots, you get 10% and then an 8% and then a 5%. And it's not 8%, it's actually seven, it's actually 7.5%. Uh, which can throw off your math a little bit. I think he fixed that in the next version too. So, yeah, the, the developer does, uh, he puts out a lot of updates. All right, we've got the importer over here. I think this line is ready to go. Uh, and we're just going to take that away. And right now, we're just going to do that. And let's set up. Uh, the heater, which is fixed seats, lights, horn, seats. So choose. Uh, I guess that's not. Uh oh, that's that's not good. Did I get rid of it? It did not. Oh, there's. It's off the screen. I can't. I can't close it. Okay. Well, I'll have to save and exit then because it's going into my other monitor and that's not that's not a good thing. Anyway, um, I'll set up the the uh, accessories and stuff next episode. All right, well, that will do it for this episode and I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.